Sylvie, uh, one thing that I wanted to start with is really kind of your background in Sweden and doing a little bit of research, found out that your dad, four-time Swedish champion, your uncle was a Swedish champion, so obviously, you know, hockey, you know, in your in your roots, was this always something you wanted to do? Was there a little pressure there with, with the family plan? Not that I yeah. can remember, but even so, I'm the youngest of uh, three brothers and a sister too, and all my brothers played hockey too, so it's kind of been running through the family the whole way, and obviously my when my dad played back in the day it was kind of you park it by afternoon you work in it in, in, really? in, oh, in the huh? morning yeah so he quit at an early age he was only 28 or something 29 when they quit but he managed to win four championships back home so i mean it's always been in the family and it's always been the biggest support i have by far so yeah your dad was a defenseman yeah was your uncle a scorer my, yeah my uncle was a goal scorer right. yeah so yeah yeah what it's, happened? It's i don't know it's funny how it yeah. goes but yeah my i actually haven't seen a game played by my dad either there's no videotape nothing did he was good? He said he was a, uh, a hard-playing defenseman, strong, nothing fancy, but just solid. So, but I've actually, to, to this day, I've never seen a game. So, I don't know. What about your uncle? Uh, no, about same, same thing there. Game? But I mean, just looking at the numbers, I, I'm assuming. That's impressive. He, yeah, I saw someone yeah, too. I'm yeah. like, well, that's where you get it from. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I don't know. So take me to July of 2013. Yeah. You probably remember that day. Yeah. Right? No. Weird day. Yeah. I, I, I mean. Especially coming from Sweden, where nothing like a trade ne never exists. I mean, if you sign a contract for what, like three years, you know you're, you'll be staying in that city for three years, and you'll be playing there. So, obviously, I thought I had a pretty decent first year, and then all, all of a sudden, you go back home, you prepare for the next season, and you, you get a phone call. It kind of explain it shortly, and then within the next seconds, my agent called me too. So, and I mean, here we are now. <laughs> here we are now. Yeah. Uh, so, when you get to Southern California, I like to talk to, to, to guys that come over here for the first time and play hockey. What were your first impressions of being here in California? I mean, it's same, same thing there. It seems like my first year was a lockout year, right? So we never we never came right. out here. So That's it was right. like first time at all that I've been to to the West Coast, right? And I was talking to Dakal, that was my captain, Andreas Dakal. He told me like it's six lanes on the highway both ways and I'm, I'm coming from a small town where like you only go like the 25 miles per hour roads there's no highway oh, really and I was kind of like That's a culture so, so, yeah, yeah, so it's sort of, sort of freaking out and it, sure enough when you land I mean it's there's like no forest anywhere it's all houses everywhere so uh, big adjustment but I mean as soon as you get into it, you just start loving it. I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm still here at six years later, I think it is. So, Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you consider yourself a two-way player or more an offensive player? Because you play on that line with Cox and, and Kessler. You guys were a yeah. you know, checking line that could score, so you yeah. guys could do both. Yeah. Has that always been kind of yeah. your game? I, I've always seen myself as, as a two-way forward, and I, I, I feel it's something I'm, I'm comfortable, comfortable with, and I've enjoyed playing that way. You learn a lot from Kess? To yeah, the way yeah, he yeah. Plays, he plays that way. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, obviously, there's. I don't think there's any guy in this team that, that like works harder and puts more pride in, in, in really like making it hard for every team's top guy. So it's that's something you'll see every night from him, and it's impressive. You and I don't have a lot in common, <laughs> but there might be two things now. Chipotle is one of them. Yeah, because I yeah, like Chipotle. Yeah, yeah. Number two is we're both dads with young kids. How how yeah. has fatherhood changed you? and your perspective of, of this hockey career? It's easy to get away from that, even especially when, when you have a year kind of like this, when nothing really goes your way. It's, it's easy to dig yourself down a hole and, and kind of get, like, obviously you need to be hard on yourself, but get way too hard on yourself. And I think it's always, especially for me, it's always been nice to, to come home night. Anytime you open the door, he'll just look right over and then he'll just start like going crazy and try to sprint over to you. I, I think that's, a, that's been one of the, Bigger reasons where like you actually put a smile on your face after or, 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 or tough tough day in general. So and uh, yeah, it's, it's just nice that knowing that you know you have that at home. How old's the little guy? Yeah. He's good. He's a, he's a big boy. <laughs> he's, he's he's closing in on, on ten months ten months to the, the thirtieth. Yeah. yeah. He's working at about a two years in the, in the clothing. Yeah, he goes yes. at a two two yeah. year size, but it's it's not even one yet. So. He's a big baby, so we'll, yeah, we'll see. Maybe we'll be a strong defenseman or something. When's, when do you put him on skates? When yeah. do you put him on skates? Uh, you? I, yeah, he's got strong legs. He's good at good at standing. He can sort of stand on his own without holding holding on to anything. So he's, he's, I think it's just a, a matter of maybe a few weeks, and then he'll start start running around. So yeah, it'll be fun.
we have blindfolds on now, and because we're both dads, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna taste baby food. And <laughs> so, so we have three spoons in front of us, each with a different flavor of baby food. Sylvie, I guess we each have the same. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna taste one, and then we're gonna try to figure out what it is. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, number one. Is there a lot on it? I don't know. I, how do I know? I can't see. Ooh. So, is that sweet potato? I'm gonna go with uh, some kind of a kale pear. Thing. I'll say sweet potato and mango. Look at you. Uh, you squash. Oh, squash. 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 <laughs> That's where your sound effects right oh now. Oh my god. I'm afraid to put this in. It's just like eating wood. It doesn't taste it anything. It's like paper. <laughs> Chewing on paper. <laughs> oh man. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not even gonna guess. I don't know. Maybe broccoli maybe broccoli. I don't know. Ugh. It doesn't taste good. I'm gonna say like peas. Uh, peas! Oh! <laughs> really? That's it. Oh, third one. Is this the third one? Yep. Oh, this better be sweet. I'll be like chocolate or something. <coughs> they eat this, the babies? Oh my god. I feel bad for them. <laughs> it's like sour. Oh. It's some kind yeah. of an applesauce. Sour, <laughs> sour apples? I don't know. What is it? What was that last one? Carrots. Carrots. Doesn't taste so much sweet though. Carrot. Now let's uh, let's get into this. The cool part is uh, five-year deal. Yeah. I mean, uh, they have the family. You've kind of set it up a little bit now. Yeah. Why why was it important for you to stay here for five years? I really like my time here. I mean, I think that the group of guys we have are, are, are amazing, and it's an organization that that wants to win, and they have won before. They know what it takes, and the, the next five years is it's going to be a team that's going to have a really strong push. Stability is always important for an athlete, but at, at 28. You're no spring chicken, but you're not old. You're right. You're right. You're, you're, <laughs> yeah. right, you're right there. Yeah. yeah now, yeah. but with that, was that stability and that um, that assurance is that important now, especially with the family? That was one of the biggest keys for me that I I, I want a longer contract. So I know I can sort of we can sort of settle yeah. down. And this, if you look at like, the national hockey, I think this is for sure the best best city. And, and like I said, we have a team that's I, I, I'm pretty sure is going to be a contender for within the next five years. And yeah, like I said, it's it's tough to beat. Could Theo skate and surf? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he'll surf. Both, no? both, both his mom and dad is too scared for water, so I don't, <laughs> we'll see about that. All right, Sylvie, thanks for doing this. We're glad you're here for at least another five years. Yeah, thank you.